guys, welcome to the movie tour. So glad you dropped by. Today we are talking Jumanji. We're gonna talk the movie and we're gonna play the game. what we have here is the Spin Master version of Jumanji. And if you're interested in this game, I'll link it in the description below. Just curious, I'm not gonna get sucked into a board game. I have work in the morning. I mean, I could not go to work and I'm <laughs> fine with that, but uh, this you know, ain't gonna kill me, is it? No promises. All I know is that we have to finish the game once we start it. Okay, so the rules are very simple. Basically, you roll the dice, you move your piece, you draw the card. If you can figure out what the riddle is, you can then move your piece one more spot over. The answers to the riddle are all on this piece of paper right here. These are the only possible answers to each riddle. Whether you get it right or not, it doesn't really matter. Either way, you have to turn the card around, read what it says, and you have to do that action. You have four life tokens here. If you lose all of your lives, you lose the game. We both lose the game. It's a cooperative game, so you have to work together to get to the end. Obviously, once you reach the end, that's this middle piece right here, you scream out Jumanji, and you won the game. You can life uh, give one of your life tokens to your your partner if you need to. <laughs> You're dead. No. <laughs> but if I lose, you lose too. Worth one it. One of us has to get to the middle to win. You're deader than me though. Um, oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> Three, four, five. In the deepest, darkest cave, escape it or it becomes your grave. So which of these answers do you think that is the correct answer. Darkness? Flip it over and let's see if you're right. Trapped. So you were wrong. I was wrong. You're running out of small tunnel while the exit is closing from above. Pick someone to make a hoop with their arms. The, your exit through, so, or you're trapped in the tunnel forever. So you have to go through my arms. This is so romantic. <laughs> <laughs> Lower. <laughs> you can be on your knees. I can work through it. But... Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. All right. You did it. Okay, James. So since you passed the first test, why don't you tell us our first fact about the movie? So I was probably like 20 years old when I realized that the hunter in this movie was played by his dad. Like that dude plays such a great different character that it was, I had no idea it was the same dude. Usually whenever they do a double a duality character film, you know it's the same person. But like literally for the longest time, no idea that that was the same guy. After what you just did, I don't want to crawl through your arms. Yeah. Probably try to hug me or something. You'd be lucky. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I got nine. Six, seven, eight, nine. Waters quicken, begin to swirl. Paddle fast, your plans unfurl. I'm gonna go ahead and guess River Rapids. Yes, it is. Cool. So I get to move forward one more. You're not dressed for a jungle adventure, yet everyone needs to put on at least one article of clothing to protect them in the jungle before time runs out. Go. And go. <laughs> Ooh. Time's almost up. You better hurry. Yo. What, what, is, what is that? It's a mask. I don't want wild animals to know who my real identity is. <laughs> it's Deathstroke. Deathstroke. It is now your turn. The Paris shoe sign is actually still up in Keene, New Hampshire, where they filmed the movie, which I think is really interesting. When Robin Williams died in 2014, they actually put together kind of like a little memorial underneath that sign. And they even did a screening of the movie Jumanji, just as sort of like a little memorial for him. You got five. I'm only gonna now just be as far as you. I know, you're such a slow fat rhino. I know, <laughs> the fattest of rhinos. <laughs> he hunts you now, you are his foe. Don't hesitate, don't be slow. I'm gonna go with Van Pelt. I think Let's you're, see, I I think think it's you're 100% right. 100% Van Pelt. Boom, Van Pelt. Yep. Hide yourself in the room so no part of your body is exposed. If your fellow players can see you after time runs out, you lose a life. Ready, go. <laughs> The funny thing is, is that you just got in there and yet you're still exposed. So I can still see you. Am I losing a point? This is dumb. How are you gonna get out? <laughs> oh my God, this is the meanest thing you could do. <laughs> okay, okay, get out of there. Ow. I think you're gonna lose a point for that because you're still exposed. Too old for this. 
You're not dog enough is the problem. Yeah, that's if, it. You, 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 you don't got a tail. You don't. You got call a... me your dog, but it's not the same. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Robin Williams didn't even have to act afraid of the, the guy playing Van Pelt because the blank made such a loud noise it actually startled Robin Williams. Wow. Let's see if I can get a high number here. Ooh, nine more, seven, eight, nine. On this bouncy primal ride, animals surround you on either side. Okay, I'm gonna go with safari, let's see. It is safari. Before time runs out, the entire group must collectively name 10 animals that can be found in the jungle. Snake, jaguar, tiger, cheetah, gorilla. Pelican. Toucan. Spider. Spider. Is that an animal? Sure. Okay. Orangutan. Yeah. Panther. There you go, 10. Cool. So the movie Jumanji, a lot of people would ask Robin Williams what the movie was actually about because th nobody had heard that name before, Jumanji. So Robin would joke around and tell people that it's about an island in the Caribbean and that they need to plan their travels early because it's going to get booked. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Robin Williams messing with people is hilarious. It's the best. Cavernous gash in the ground, echoes come from all around. Oh, is it a chasm? Kind of sounds like a chasm. Mine are dumb. Sure, it sounds like a chasm. Or darkness. That I feel like that sounds more accurate. All right, we're going with darkness. The chasm, <laughs> which is what I freaking said it was. The quickest way through is to swing it. Wager up to five spaces, then roll all four challenge die. If you roll a jaguar's eye, you're through. Move forward the number of spaces you've wagered. Five, baby. We're going is all Wagering in. five? Wagering five. You got Boom. it. All right, you get to move forward five. All right. So we got seven. You hear the drums of Jumanji approaching. Who knows what danger is around the corner? Everyone must drum on something until time runs out. This is, this is, Bad I can drum on you. It says something, doesn't say what. <laughs> Jumanji was so popular that the actual original screen used Jumanji board game sold on eBay in 2014 for guess how much? Two million? Just a little less than that. It was $60,000. Let's roll. Nobody's lost a life yet, which is pretty cool. And I win. Yeah. Oh, you got 10 already? Did you scream out Jumanji? I didn't hear you say Jumanji! it. Jumanji! 